Hello and welcome to the Precious Plastic Channel. Today, we will announce to you who are the 40 lucky micro-recycling organizations who will receive over 92,000 euros within the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund. Before we get started, the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund, in a nutshell, is Precious Plastic way of involving the community in the creation of knowledge valuable for small-scale plastic recyclers all around the world. Basically, we will be funding innovative, creative and impactful ideas to bring small-scale plastic recycling to another level. If you want to have more information about the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund, you can watch the launch video right here. Now that we're all up to speed as to what is the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund, we are very excited to announce to you who are the winners. Let's get started. We raised 103,115 euros, which came from one major donor and a sum of smaller donations. We would like to thank again everyone who has donated to the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund, as this is possible thanks to you. 10% of this amount was allocated in admin costs, which left us 92,804 euros to be distributed within the community. In only a couple of months, we received 100 applications, which came from 67 different organizations in 35 different countries, which summed up to over 8 million euros in funding. We were really blown away by the great ideas that were submitted and really want to thank again everyone who was willing to share their knowledge. As you can imagine, choosing from these creative, innovative and impactful ideas was not easy. Let me read you through a few. Develop a bottle cap sorter. Design a PET to 3D printing machine. Design recycled wind turbines. Create a CE certification guide. Design a large sheet press. And this is only a few of them. Needless to say, we had to make some very tough calls and we're very sad that we were not able to raise more money to be able to fund more projects. I want to take a moment to say that if your idea was not selected, it's not because it wasn't good enough. It's simply because we did not have enough funds to be able to fund all of the projects that were submitted. Okay, it's now time to reveal the projects who have won the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund. If you remember correctly, the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund had three groups. The first one, which was Retroactive Awards, which is an amount of money that is given to all of the how-tos that have been created before October 2023 and who had a complete application. Then the how-tos, which is funding for already existing ideas, and then research, which is funding for a research topic. First, let's start with the Retroactive Awards, as these are the true community heroes. These are people who have shared for free and open source their knowledge and intellectual property without any incentive before the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund even existed. We are very happy to be able to reward such behavior and are thrilled to have 10,311 euros to distribute between these beautiful people. We have received 39 successful applications from 26 different organizations, which equals to a reward per how-to of 264 euros for how-to created before October 2023. I would like to mention our top two contributors. The first one is Precious Plastic Cheeto in Mexico and Precious Plastic Melbourne in Australia, who have both created three how-tos. You can find the how-tos that they created on their community platform account. But most importantly, we really want to thank everyone who has created a how-to over the years, as it's really thanks to you and your generosity that the knowledge bank that we have today is so strong. So, so thank you very much. So let's move on to the rest of the fun. We had initially planned to allocate 50% of the fund to how-tos and 30% to research topics. But we received so many research topics that we decided to shuffle this around to accommodate what the community really wanted. We have decided to select eight how-tos. First of all, from Admiral Farragut Academy in the USA with 3,550 euros to share a small-scale recycling curriculum. Fair enough from Spain with 600 euros to share an injection lamp mold. Joano Plasto from Germany with 1,596 euros to share a 3D printing with PET bottles. Mad Plastic from Portugal with two projects, one with 1,200 euros to share a CE certification guide, 
and one with 2,500 euros to share a low-cost, highly accessible manual shredder. Precious Plastic Cairo from Egypt with 1,500 euros to share their automatic injection molding machine. Precious Plastic Capi from Spain with 600 euros to share their A5 sheet press mold. And finally, Precious Plastic East from the UK with 3,795 euros to share how to turn plastic sorting into a game. They will now receive funding to start the creation of their how-to. In the upcoming weeks or months, you will see the how-tos being published. You can follow the progress on the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund website or on the community platform. You'll have the two URLs in the description below. Now on to the research applications. As we mentioned, we were really blown away by the diversity, the quality, the innovation, the impact of the different research topics. And we really had to make some really tough decisions in regards to selecting the 15 projects that we are going to fund for the research awards. First, Blastic from Italy with 2,100 euros to develop an IoT scale, which will help with the collection and measuring of plastic waste. Then, excuse my pronunciation in uh, Dutch, um, Precious Plastic Perisig from the Netherlands with 3,600 euros to develop a fully automatic injection machine. DevLab TSA from Germany with 1,500 euros to develop an automatic belt feeder for the shredder. Easy Mold, also from Germany, with 7,000 7, euros to create a new technique for compression molding. Then Gila Polin from Poland with 4,000 euros to share pneumatic wise with mechanical advantages for more pressure in the injection. Joanu Plasto from Germany with 3,996 euros to develop a commuter mouse mold with recycled plastic. Maritimo Recycling from Croatia with 4,000 euros to develop a bottle cap sorter. Precious Plastic Scanner from the Netherlands with 7,805 euros to develop a plastic scanner for 3D prints. Precious Plastic Melbourne from Australia with 2,117 euros to develop a pressure transduder for the extruder. Then Sustainable Design from the UK with three different projects one for 3,119 euros to develop a, mo a modular furniture clip, another one with 3,742 euros to develop a bike light mold, then 3,817 euros to develop a 3D plastic scienti scientific test and property. Then we do from Indonesia with 13,500 euros to develop a large sheet press. This one is a little bit different as the initial proposal was for a much larger amount, but as we do not have enough funds to fund the full project, we're enabling the launch and the start of this research topic. Unmade plastic from the USA with 1,939 euros to develop a large billet press mold and 3D Sova from Montenegro with 3,438 euros to develop an innovative carousel for rapid mold change. As for the how-tos, these projects will create a research topic in the community platform and you can follow the progress of these, prog of these projects on the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund website or on the community platform. You'll have the links again below. For the launch of the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund, and as you may have understood, we are very excited to announce the launch of a new module on the community platform called the Research Module. The Research Module is dedicated to, pro to projects that are ongoing, that are in development, in research, and the idea is to create more collaboration between the community members who can then share, comment, exchange on a specific research project of someone anywhere in the world to continue to strengthen the, sh the, the sharing of knowledge within the Precious Plastic community. Make sure to follow the research topics that you're interested in so that you can get notifications about different updates and comments that will be posted. We believe that the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund will build a stronger knowledge library to enable more plastic to be recycled. You can follow the progress of the different projects on the Precious Plastic Open Source Fund website or on the community platform. You will find the two links in the description below. 
We would also like to take a moment to remember that the Precious Plastic Movement exists thanks to individual organizations as well as the Precious Plastic team who have been sharing for free in open source their intellectual property to enable more plastic to be recycled on a global scale. Become an actor of this movement today and share your knowledge. Thank you.